Good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog. Um, if you couldn't tell, I am orange right now, which means it is a cheerleading uh, vlog. Um, I've just woken up, so this is not the colour the tan will actually be in. Yeah, my knuckles are awful. Souls. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to wash off the guide colour and then that will be my first layer done. I'll do another layer tonight um, and live the full orange tango life for the weekend. But I ran out of my fake tan. It's like... It's in there, but it's just, there's no foam, so it's just liquid coming out, which I don't really trust. But it's going to tan me, so I'm going to go buy some more in town later, and I'm also going to get some eyeliner, because I've run out, I've not used it actually since the last competition, so I'm pretty sure it's all dried out and grim. Um, so I'm going to go get some eyeliner. Sorry about the ringing light, um, my light does all the time, it's very irritating. Um, so it is... Half eight on Saturday morning. I am competing tomorrow, Sunday, up in Worcester. Um, so I'm driving up there today and staying in a Premier Inn tonight. So then I can just get ready and go to comp the next day, um, nice and easy. Um, but yeah, full on orange look. Tango, is that orange? Orange, orange. <laughs> um, but I slept in these cute little pajamas, which are from Misguided. I've had them for years, but they're super cute and there's lightweight, so I don't want anything to rub on my first layer of tan. But like tomorrow, I'm sharing a room with um cat, and so I won't be wearing these pajamas. I'll be wearing like normal pajamas, um, but it'll be fine. It's what I normally do anyway. Um, but yeah, I need to shower this off and you know do something with this hair. Yeah, I thought I'd show you. <laughs> oh, Tango Sophie. <laughs> showered looking more like a normal colour less tango more like you know a normal person who isn't like a piece of paper sheet of white um but yeah i'm now gonna get dressed dry my hair and finish packing i'll show you where i've got to packing so far okie dokie so i've got my infinity backpack which i got for christmas so i'm super excited about that got trainers uh, painkillers lip balm hand sanitizer body spray my little mini purse my team scrunchie which is adorable my love island water bottle just in case i do have like a full shower i've got everything that i need hair bands clips for the day i need to just bring my hairspray across i've got my bra with my clear straps which i need to put back on bow uniform pajamas slouchy clothes some of which i'm wearing today some of which tomorrow before we compete socks underwear and then my jacket but yeah um almost there i'm a little bit of a overpacker when it comes to like going away somewhere because i just try to pack for every single eventuality there is and also like a little, little mushroom with my hair up here um but yeah oh i don't think i've ever showed you my bow display i'll do that so this is my bow display slash collection oh it's taken that one off it's missing two bows at the moment and um, i have like three of my university cheer bows because they all like broke I uh, just lost a medal, um, but then I've got like ICC medal, BCA medal, um, <laughs> my University of Chichester medal, um, ICC legacy, um, and then this is from America because I went to a summer camp in America in Iowa, so yeah, my little bow display. Normally my Bomber Philippe bow is here and then I have another Wolves bow here, but yeah. Okie dokie, so I'm dressed, I am currently in the process of packing, I'm gonna pack my makeup away i put my brushes in this big bag from da -da 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 -da, alphabet bags um it was a christmas present a couple of years ago it says you look lovely today which is always nice to see every day um and then in the rest of the makeup in my lydia elise millen makeup bag and yeah that's what i'm doing so i'm pretty sure i've packed everything i'm just having that moment of oh my god have i forgotten to pack something so i'm literally like checking everything <laughs> to make sure i have everything um but i've got my sparkly fitly bag all packed up with my bum bag for when i'm in the arena coat scarf and then my university hold all so hopefully I actually have everything. Oh, you can see that I'm wearing my legacy jumper. Yeah, fingers crossed everything because I'm gonna go into town, I need to get some more fake tan and some eyeliner and maybe clean my car before I drive up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 
time to stop procrastinating and actually get on with my day so i'm gonna drive into town get the fake tan and things that i need and then head off to worcester ah, i think it's the longest journey i've done maybe maybe bogner was longer who knows i need to check my car <laughs> my car is absolutely filthy it's actually great. Show you my reg, but look. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to kind of clean that, but also need fuel. Okie dokie, car all cleaned. Wow, I think I'm really zoomed in. Woo. There we go. Car all cleaned, relatively safe to drive for two and a half hours, and I am off. Might stop at a service station to get something to eat because I'm probably going to get there at two o'clock, so I'll be hungry by the time I get there. So, I might stop, but we shall see. Wish me luck. So I've just stopped at a service station. I've got you like really low because I've literally sat right in front of the front doors of the service station. There's like a ton of people going in and out. But yeah, I've just stopped at a service station to grab some snacks because it is 12.49 and I am hungry and I've got an hour and five minutes left of my journey. So snack time. So I've got myself a sort of roll, a bag of a crisp and a Red Bull because Red Bull is life. I'm um, just gonna quickly eat a sausage roll and then get going again. Okay, so I've arrived. Arrived? I've arrived in Worcester and the Premier Inn is the two city centre Premier Inn. And I don't have parking and they told us to park in the cricket ground. So I just need to check this is actually the right car park and that I'm allowed to park here. Um, so there's no signs. But yeah, I need to just run to the Premier Inn and find out. Okay, parked in the wrong car park, so I now need to move my car. Um, but just a quick ground, there's another quick ground car park, car park down there, so that's where I need to move my car to. So we just see, be interesting. Okay, I'm finally in the right car park, and oh my god, that was so stressful. Driving in Worcester, there's like 20 million lanes, they all go different directions, and oh, nah, take me back to Salisbury. <laughs> it's so easy to drive there compared to here. Oh my god, I was so like on edge like trying to be in the right lane I'd turn a corner it'd be like five different lanes I'm like what am I meant to be in you can give me a second chance to find the right lane but yeah so I'm in the right car park I just need to pay display and then find cat magic I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize I replay them. okay so I finally got to the room after a stressful drive and trying to park because the full like the car park was actually full so we're in some random gravel overflow section <laughs> hopefully we don't get locked in and get charged or anything but it should be fine staff say it's fine so it'll be good uh, but I'll show you our delightful little premiere in room my favorite part is the mirror I do my makeup here still is a bit bright right now but tomorrow morning best part of the room but cat sorry <laughs> so you got walk in you got your mirror full body mirror and then bathroom which is a bathroom which I'm not going to show you then yeah the desk the bed we could chillax on the sofa later eating food and then if you liked cricket we have a pretty cool cricket ground view but also it's a bit flooded so <laughs> yeah yeah is it they're playing at the moment aren't they I'm wrong that's how much I like cricket <laughs> I feel like they are they might be because that's some like Australia but yeah, we're here. I don't really know what we're going to do. Maybe pop the arena? Yeah, find See. out where it is. Yeah. Pick up some food. Food. I need snacks. Mm. No snacks. I've got a bit of food. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is the plan. Pat has bought the Tarty palette and oh my goodness. I wasn't going to buy it because I have bought 20 million palettes. But now I actually, I need it. Hold up, do the glitter. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's insane. And it's like nice and weighty and feels beautiful. <gasps> now I need it, sorry Tom, I need another one. Okie dokie, so we've left the hotel and we're just doing the little walk. It's like an eight minute walk to the arena. And we're just gonna go watch a couple of um, the other teams compete, explore, like get our bearings for tomorrow. Yeah, just walk into the arena. Okay, so take two arriving at the arena. Sorry! <laughs> Kat forgot her PCA like, ID card and you need that to get in without like buying a ticket um, if you're competing. So yeah, back again and time to actually go into the arena. Well, 
focus. Okie dokie, so we've left the arena for tonight. We watched one team before, but the next one's not for like a good couple of hours, so. We don't really want to hang around an arena because all we're going to do tomorrow is hang around in the arena. Um, so we're now just walking back to the hotel and then we're going to drive. Good luck. Save me. Save me. Uh, in Worcester to the Waitrose that I passed on the way in. Because there's like an Aldi here but we don't really like anything. And we need something for breakfast and just some general snacks. So we're going to drive to Waitrose. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yeah, we'll make it to tomorrow I'm sure. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> so I got a super cute lanyard super duper sparkly for my little BCA card um, yeah look so cute I'm a happy bunny with my sparkly lanyard okie dokies we are back from Waitrose and I'll show you my not particularly healthy food haul <laughs> <laughs> I got some vegetable crisps which look yummy and then some melon and then some carrot sticks which is like the healthy part and then I got some fruit bakes because these things are like delicious mini eggs because who doesn't like mini eggs and then a brownie because it looked tempting <laughs> and then I got like a Robinson's refresh drink for tomorrow as well I don't particularly eat on competition days I always tend to overbuy food and then I never actually eat it um, because I'm like too nervous so I'm sure this will be eaten because it's not actually that much Hello! So we have just ordered from Noodle Hut, but it is going to take an hour to get here, which is a little bit sad. But I could put fake tan on at that time, let it dry. Can I be bothered to do that yet? No. <laughs> but yeah, after food, after food, I'll fake tan. I might like arrange my stuff for tomorrow to like get sorted. Yeah, that's what I do. Hello! So I didn't vlog when we got our food because I was like hungry because it took like an hour so I was like starving for food so I didn't vlog but we ate our Chinese. I had duck and plum sauce and rice and I am very full. I was just had some mini eggs because mini eggs. It's nearly Easter. Well it's not nearly Easter but Easter on the way so lots of mini eggs were consumed. Um, currently got Hunger Games on in the background and I need to moisturise and fake tan and ooh. My skin's broken out over today, which is a bit annoying, but yeah, so, yeah fake tan very soon. Okie dokie, so I've all fake tan looking very orange compared to my natural skin colour, as always. Uh, we just finished watching Hunger Games, it was on the TV, and I'm now going to get ready for bed. But yeah, now see you in the morning. Good morning. My foundation doesn't really match me, but it's fine. It looks more pale on camera than it does in real person. It's fine. I'll add more bronzer later. Um, but we're just packing up, and then we're going to walk across to the arena because um, it's competition day. Eee. How are you feeling, Kat? I'm Update on the car. When we went to Waitrose last night. I managed to park actually in the car park fabulously but we're now gonna walk to the arena i need to put my lipstick on when i get there and then find someone to backcomb my hair or not backcomb it if there's no one available but yes. let's go <laughs> Um, for awards, I think it's like three o'clock, so that'll be 
naked. Um, and now I'm just kind of wandering around, falling down, and then I want to go take some photographs because I need at least one nice photograph of me at a competition. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I need to go find people to take photographs of me. Basically. So we have come to see the photographs and laugh at them because like cheer photographs are never nice no matter what like you can be the prettiest person in the world and they'll capture like the most ugly angle possible because <laughs> they're not really good at I swear but yeah we're gonna look at the photographs and see what they are Hey we're looking for the one one Oh my god Oh my god Oh my god Oh my god yeah. Always pale, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still yet to find a half decent place to take a picture of myself. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Hey! <laughs> um, yeah, it's really annoying. I just want a nice photograph, but I can't find any lighting. <laughs> I wish I was flexible. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Why are you so pretty? <laughs> My face! I like, <laughs> so I got some photographs thanks to the beautiful Mel. I don't know if she wants to be on camera. Yes. <laughs> photographer Mel kind of got me to I mean I'd like to do some more if she's up for it <laughs> uh, but yeah I might have at least one photograph that I could use um, but now I'm just waiting for awards and then hell are on which are level is it level 6 or level 7 now? 6 level 16 that are going to the world so they're performing soon so I'm going to watch them and then I'm going to be driving home Beautiful Mel has <laughs> taken a million one more photos on me. I think you have to go in this way. Um, we're now going to go look at the comp photos and try and not miss Hale. <laughs> Thoroughly commentary on that. Awards done. We stayed for awards. We didn't even get a medal. Sad times. We got won. A, well, yeah, we won, but <laughs> no medal. What's the point? Not even a trophy. It was a piece of paper. All done. Lipsticks off, and we are now walking back to the cars, and we're going our separate ways. Bye! <laughs> um, and then yeah, it's still just about light, so we all right to start with, and then it's gonna get dark. I don't like driving in the dark, so. Yeah, you would be on main roads at that point then. But motorways don't have lights. <laughs> it's still dark, there's just a lot more cars. <laughs> I'd rather a dark country lane than a motorway with Oh, no, not me. Yeah, no rather way. than a motorway with tons of cars going Three like. lanes? Yeah, but they're still doing stupid things, whereas the country lane is just yourself. But quite a lot of my journey is country lanes, so it's all good. I've just got to keep myself occupied for two and a half hours and then I see you in the summer. Oh, probably won't be able to see you. There's lots of swans. <laughs> ah, puddle. Goodbye. Bye. Drive safe. <laughs> Drive safe. See you next week. <laughs> Hello, little Fiat. What's funny is I cleaned my car before I came here and it does not look like it. I think I've actually managed to get all my back coming out. I only had a little poof in my hair anyway. And I'm just sitting in my car trying to gather the energy to drive to us. Probably 
not going to happen. I might actually put my sparkly hairband in. BCA Spring Spirit um, for this 2020. It's massive. Like normally I put them on my lanyard, but I, my lanyard's got like two Montes on it, so it also wouldn't fit because it's huge. So I might put it on my old lanyard, which I'll show you guys when I go home. It's covered in badges. Um, it's probably going to pop that on there. That I can just add to my collection. And then because BCA is a family friendly competition, I don't know. Um, we got a participation medal, which I think I showed you earlier, but it's super cute. <laughs> Spring spirit, and it just says BCA Cheer and Dance. Yeah, we love a little participation medal, which will go on my bow collection. Yeah, oh, the snaps this year, super cute. Um, so it says Sophie, and then a little message says, Sophie, you are a lovely, caring, special person who we all see pushes everyone to be the best they can be in all our sessions. Without Sophie, I think we can all agree our team wouldn't be complete, which is very lovely. Um, I probably don't feel like that most of the time, but it's a very sweet little snap. Um, and then we've got a little cute little friendship bracelet, which is very lovely. And then we've got a keyring, which we're gonna add to my bag, which is, Bomberfully on one side when it focuses. Bomberfully and then Hurricane 2019-2020 and then TAFM which is take a effing minute which is our like saying because we want to take a minute before we compete <laughs> and do anything because we're a bunch of stress balls but it's super cute and came in a little bag and that was done by Amy our team captain which was adorable. She's a sweet little bean in the world. That is my haul for this competition season. I should probably put my glasses on. Um, and it's a long drive and I don't really like driving in the dark either. But yeah, I'm just sort of working up the energy to drive. <laughs> I'm home. Well, I'm at Tom's and this is how Tom is when I arrived. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Ugh. Football. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. Um, sorry, Tom, that I'm talking over the football. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. I'd love to have you back here. My name's Sophie, and have a lovely day. Bye.